dear students, dear guests, dear colleagues. Welcome to the official opening of the 26th edition of uh, the International Students' Contest, Hard and Soft. I would like to announce the presence to this event, Professor Peter Scharf, Rector of Ilmenau University, the Rector of uh, Suchava University, Professor Valentin Popa, Vice Rector of Suchava University, Mihai Dimian. We, the organizers, designed this contest to be an event that provides students and professors opportunities for the development of necessary skill to any engineer. We choose to put in the same equation the collaboration and competition and to propose the project to be carried out by teams of students and not by individuals. I believe that the great gain of the participation in such competition is the opportunity to experience real-life situations. A reality in which solving a task in a limited time period and the desire to win the competition allows the, the unfolding of simulations similar to concrete situations with which an engineer may do face every day. There are tasks from which one learns to fight with uh, the seconds, fatigue, his own ideas and dilemmas, and learns to fight with limited resources in order to make the best decisions. But perhaps more important than all this is that hard and soft offers the possibility to acknowledge the importance of a teammate, a teammate that shares tasks so as to finish in time, that realizes how important it is to know that you can rely on someone when you are exhausted. A companion that completes you in finding new resources or without which you could not have own and experienced victory. Dear students, the 2019 jury is composed of Professor Timothy Hall, Limerick University. He is here as president of the jury in charge for the 70th time. Kieran McNamee from the Limerick University. Felix uh, Himmelstoss from uh, the University of Applied Science of Vienna, and he will arrive in Suchava on Wednesday. Heinz Dietrich Bürke from the Technical University of Ilmenau. Jean-Michel Dutier from uh, the University Lillois. Our competition could not have taken place without the support of our sponsors, both large and small companies from Botoshani and Suchava, Suchava Town Hall and Ministry of Education. On behalf of the organizing committee and myself, I would like to welcome the following participating teams. Polytechnica University of Bucharest, National University of Chernobyl, Technical University of Moldavia, Chisinau, Technical University of Cluj-Napoca, Technical University of Iași, Technical University of Ilmenau, University of Novi Sad, University of Oradea, Ștefan cel Mare University of Suceava, Politehnica University of Timișoara, National Technical University of Vinița. I would like to invite Professor Valentin Popa, Rector of Suceava University, to address the welcoming message.
Thank you, Rector Adrian Grauer. Good morning. Honorable members of the jury, distinguished guests, dear students, and uh, of course dear colleagues, it's a great, great pleasure to welcome uh, all of you to the 26th edition of the International Computer Contest for Students Hard and Soft, a competition which has turned into a tradition, a landmark of our university and certainly one of the best known student contests organized by a Romanian university. I would like also to address some warm welcome to Mr. Peter Scharf, the Rector of Technical University of Ilmenau, Dr. Honoris Causa of our university. Peter, I would like to address you a warm welcome to come back in our academic community. Along the years, this competition aimed to create a forum to bring together the leading research-oriented students from the field of computer sciences, offering them a proper context for manifesting their creativity, sharing their ideas, establishing new contacts, and developing future collaborations. Some of the students who will compete this week in Suchava could become the leading initiators and experts of innovations to come. The need of technology arises everywhere, whether it is in an educational institute, household, research center, or any multinational company. And the students involved in this contest could be the ones to hold some of the keys to provide new answers to that need. Presently, each and every day, a novel application of hardware or software is being introduced in the economy that serves to enhance the uplift our lifestyle in innumerable ways, hence making our lives better and full of smart components. The hard and soft competition stands as proof for our university's interest in and preoccupations with innovations research. I would like also to thank to all my colleagues involved in organization, especially to Mr. Adrian Grauer, and to members to the jury that will work hard in the next four days for the success of this new edition of the contest. I hope that uh, the following days will represent a journey of optimism, of spirit, of determination, and of creativity and the power of innovation in the 21st century. Good luck to all participants and may the best team win. Thank you very much, and success to everybody. Let me give the floor to my dear friend of mine, of our university, um, director of uh, Ilmenau University, Professor uh, Peter Scharf. Dear Rector Popa, dear Adrian, dear jury, and dear colleagues from Suchava University, and the most important group, dear students, being here today. This competition has a long tradition. For more than the quarter of a century, it takes place here. And for me, I must say, it is the, the living proof, especially for internationalization as well as for the core of engineering. 
Please remember, in the name engineering, it is not contain the name engine, it is genius. Yeah? So, what makes our world a better place to live? On the one hand, is uh, to improve the conditions. So, this is a task, especially for engineers, natural scientists, and so on and so on. On the other hand, it should be, at least, it should be a task for politicians to regulate the framework conditions in a way that people can live properly on this earth. Currently, I must say, my impression is that the world is uh, standing upwards down, or how, how is it called? It is uh, becoming more and more uh, crazy. It is becoming more and more crazy. I think in the 21st century, starting a war should be no option at all. We should stand together. We should live together in peace. Any culture all over the world. We should avoid conflicts instead of creating conflicts. We should tear down fences and walls instead of erecting them. And the world has enough problems to be solved. Environmental problems, energy problem, problem of water, and, and so on and so on. All of them, by the way, very uh, uh, special tasks for engineers, yeah? How to solve the distribution, the problem of distribution of electrical energy for the whole world, and so on and so on, yeah? A lot of problems. And, uh, but we can solve these problems only if we act in a globalized way, because these are global, global problems. This cannot be solved, these problems, uh, by one nation or by one university, and so on and so on. So, it is a, it is a, a requirement, a, 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 a task for all of us to uh, talk to our colleagues from many, many other universities, from other communities, to solve especially those problems. There is a saying, uh, I mean it was Humboldt who, who said it, um, that the most dangerous vision of the world is the vision of people who never saw the world. Yeah? That means we have, to, uh, we have to have a deep insight into societies from, from many, many nations, from countries, uh, to be able uh, to work for the right solutions for the global problems. And the fact that you are here and spend part of your free time and, uh, for, for this competition, to be part of this competition, this is the proof, and I'm very proud of it, that there are people, obviously young people, who are ready to take these tasks for them and to try to improve the situation and to try to enrich the world by answers, by real answers. Not fake news, but real answers. Thank you for this. I'm proud on, on all of you and I'm proud to be a member of the scientific community of Suchawa University. Thank you very much. I think it's time to know the theme of uh, this uh, edition of our contest. I would like to invite uh, Professor uh, Timothy Hall to present the theme. You have the floor. Thank you. But well, we go straight on to the competition task. Uh, the, I, I'm essentially addressing the, the, the teams who have come here to follow this competition. And uh, here's, here's our title. It's Internet of Things Directly Serves You. Uh, it's not telling you very much at the moment, but we'll, we'll see how it goes as we travel along. Your task is to design and build and demonstrate an autonomous mobile toy or assistance device. To say a little bit more. I want you to make a toy for a child, or an adult, or a pet, an educational toy, an assistance device that's suitable for uh, use with a child with special needs, 
or assistance advice for disabled, infirm or elderly people. This is giving you a lot of range of things you could possibly think of. And that's part of the, the philosophy behind the competition this year. What are we going to give you? Well, we will give you a, a kit of parts. <coughs> going to give you two different ESP32 development systems. They're different and uh, quite deliberately different. And I'm going to say to you, you can use either of them or both of them, but no other development system is allowed. And giving you a very simple wheel chassis, servo motors and drive ICs to make it all work together. And it's a very simple one. It's nothing sophisticated about it at all. If you want to make it more sophisticated, that's up to you. An extensive sensor kit, uh, which includes gyro accelerometer, which I suspect you will want to use, and a camera, which I also think you want to use. And say, remind you again that you can only use the two microprocessor devices that we've given you, one or the other, or both of them, but nothing else. You can use any open source software, development systems, libraries, uh, cloud, anything you like, as far as the software stuff is concerned. Uh, we're quite well aware that uh, there is no way can we limit you in using this, these tools, things that are available, and why should we? Because this is essentially, as, as was stated, uh, an engineering competition, and engineers use what's there. That's part of the, the, the process of being an engineer. I've asked you, uh, very late on I have to admit, but i asked you to bring uh, an Android smartphone or tablet, which I suspect that that's the device you want your mobile device to, to work with, uh, and link through that to the person that the, the device is, is meant to be aiding or amusing. You can use your own laptops uh, as part of the development work and of course as part of your demonstration. There will be available from the technical assistance people other hardware components, tools, uh, mechanisms perhaps making printed circuit boards and so on like that. They're always available. You should ask them. If it's something you would like to have, just ask. And if you have any doubts about anything at all, whether you can use something or whether something is or isn't allowed, come and ask us at the jury. We're always available to, to, to be asked questions of. It's part of our function early on. How are we going to assess what you're doing? Under three, three headings, essentially. Originality, complexity, and execution. And the main mechanism for doing this will be at the public expedition, ex exhibition on Friday. Just to say a little bit more about that, the originality is the novelty and appropriateness of your design in meeting the task requirements. Complexity is essentially an opportunity for you to demonstrate the depth and breadth of your knowledge of both hardware and software. And the execution is the engineering bit. How successfully have you been in applying your skills to achieving your design goals and the application of good engineering practice? And we do like to see the application of good engineering practice. Things associated with data security, things associated with things as a mobile uh, autonomous device, things associated with energy conservation and so on. The main mechanism for assessing your work is the public exhibition on Friday. Uh, each team will be enabled to set up a, a demonstration of their work and your demonstration can be anything you think is appropriate. Whatever it is that demonstrates what you've done to the best advantage. I'm asking you to generate a conference style poster, a maximum size of about A2, uh, to explain to the public and to draw succinctly together all your ideas, partly of course, to, to enable the jury to, to uh, make an assessment of what, of what you've done. And you may, if you wish, have extra documentation for the jury to, to read at their leisure. That's entirely up to you. We probably pay a visit to you during the week, probably on Wednesday. It will be an informal visit, it's not, not a, a formal thing, it's not associated with the uh, assessment of your work, it's largely informative, so we can get some idea of the range of things that you're working on and uh, how well you're doing, how well you feel you're doing. And one thing I'm, I'd, I'd like to introduce is on Friday I'm going to try and uh, come up with a, a, a reasonably easy to operate mechanism of peer assessment. I'd like you to look at your, the, the work of the other teams, not just your own work, because you're bound to think 
during the week that whatever you were doing would be the, probably the best thing ever and that, that nobody else could possibly do anything better than that. You should look at the, what the other teams are doing. So I'm going to ask you to do it in a slightly formal way. I'm going to reserve about 10% of the marks for your assessment. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. It doesn't matter. You've already been presented with the names of the jury, so I won't repeat that. And just to remind you that what I'm asking you to do is to make an autonomous mobile toy or assistance device. And I'm giving you no more information than that. This presentation is all the information I'm giving you. Okay, so there you are, that's it. <laughs> so, you know uh, each team will work in uh, its own uh, lab. For this reason I would uh, like to invite a student from each uh, team to draw out uh, uh, from this board uh, the uh, room number. Polytechnica University 1 of Bucharest 1. Iosif Alexa Selia, Sherban Ioan Ciofu, George Mircea Grosu, Horia Virgil Berciu, Advisor Nicolae Țăpuș, Coach Alexandru Predescu. Strigo. Four. Thank you. Polytechnical University of Bucharest. Two. Diana Nicolae Baicu, Maria Mualfa, Mualfa, Stefan Olarescu, Mihail Eugen Pascu, Advisor Nicolae Zapuș, Coach Mihai Crăciunescu and Maria Crăciumaru. Please. Two o nine. Yuri Fetkovich Chernowitz National uh, University, Alisa Anastasia Berbenyuk, Stepan Vanzuriak, Pavlo Avdienko, Mikola Trafenchuk, Advisor Valeriu Fratavcian, Coach Tonia Fratavcian and Vitali Banashko. Oh, uh, one, oh, one. Technical University of Moldavia, Kishinev 1. Stanislav Sanduca, Daniel Kurmei, Christian Krucian, Alexandru Margina, Advisor Victor Ababi, uh, and Coach 306. Kishinev 2. Vadim Platon. Victor Popa, Andrei Miron, Dan Cristian Surdu, advisor Victor Ababi. Two oh two. Technical University of Cluj Napoca. Benamim Bia, Octavian Coca, Vlad Socaciu, Gabriel Stefan Petrasuk, advisor Dorin Petreuș, coach Alin Grama. You are here for the third time or second time? Third? 204. Oh, no, no. 404. Georgia Sahi Technical University, Iași. Emanuel Ioan Crețu, Cosmin Paul Rotariu, Daniel Siru Vereștiuc, Ionuț Vlad Modoran, advisor Alexandru Bărleanu, coach Alexandru Tudor Popovici. 
two or one. Technical University of Ilmenau, Rabia Zenlov, Alexander Dech, Lukas Buner, Florian Schulze, advisor Frank Mark, that the coach that left for Stryfer. Three or five. Novisad, Stefan Tambur, Andrea Romanic, Alexander Hasovic, Jana Peric, advisor uh, Toschik, Marco, uh, coach Milan Bozic. 207. Thank you. Oradea University, Ion Batur, Norbert de Brandon Kovac, Daniel Andrei Roman, Daniel Tatar, advisor Otto Posset, coach Christian Turbe. To Austria. Stefan Cel Mare, University of Suceava, one. Ovidiu Marius Kiras, Robert George Turluic. Catalin Vasilica Vasiloae, Iuliana Marie. Srivo, one. Suceava, two. Cristi Miron, Benjamin Maxim, Vladislav Grejdieru, Ionus Teodor Francescu. Three or three. Polytechnica University of Timisoara, one. Eduard Krishan, Nandor Cereoka, Alexandru Kalin Daj, Bogoslav Gabriel Bonac, advisor Mihai Micha Dorel Charg, coach. Two or four. Timișoara 2, Fabian Manuel Butean, Valentin Târziu, Elisei Ștefan Ilieș, Sergiu Răzvan Pavel, advisor Septimiu Mischie, coach Zilard Bularca. Srio 2, National Technical University of Vinița, Dmitro Crivi, Evgeni Cerbina, Maxim Mazur, Igor Kulian. Uh, 109. That's all. I think. Uh, lots of luck and inspiration in solving the contest problem. Each, of, uh, each team uh, will go to the building C and uh, you will receive the equipment. <laughs>